Hey VC, welcome back. This is Hubtoons. I'm Mike. Uh, second installment of Rock and Roll Birthdays. Uh, this is uh, February 2022. <laughs> uh, so we got a list of 12 birthdays. I'm going, I'm not, I didn't feel like pulling out any more records, so we're just doing 12. Um, hope everyone's doing well, and let's just get right into it. Uh, first birthday, and I have my notes because I can't remember all this stuff. Uh, first birthday, Yoko Ono. She is 89, and um, this is her album, uh, the the companion piece to John Lennon's um, Plastic Ono Band. It's an okay, you know. I, I, you know, I actually like some of the stuff on here. I, I, I think it's kind of interesting. Um, I, I, you know, when I was a kid and in my 20s, I disliked Yoko. I didn't understand her. I didn't like her. I didn't like her music. And as I grew and got to know a lot more about her and read more about her and listened to her, um, I really respect her. Uh, I think she's really cool. And um, I've gotten to see her in live in concert with um, with Thurston Moore from uh, Sonic Youth, which was an absolutely fantastic show. Seeing the two of them standing next to each other on stage, uh, she just adores him too. She had a smile on her face the whole the whole show. Uh, you could tell they had mutual admiration for each other. They were absolutely wonderful together on stage. And just seeing them next to each other, because she's so tiny. And Thurston Moore is like 6'6 six, six or 6'7, six, something like that. He's very tall. And the two of them standing next to each other on stage was really, really cool. And uh, it was a fun night, actually, a really fun night. I know some of you Yoko haters out there are going to be like, shut up, Mike. Uh, it was a really good time. Yoko Ono, happy birthday, 89 years old. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Next up is um, this guy, Graham Nash. This is an old copy of Crosby, Stills, and Nash, um, uh, Deja Vu. This has got the um, kind of the raised, textured, um, textured um, cover on uh, Atlantic. Pretty cool record. Um, obviously a classic. Graham Nash, one of the great vocalists of this generation. I absolutely love his voice. I, I could listen to Graham Nash sing all day long. I'm a huge Holly's, Holly's fan. And happy birthday, Graham Nash. Oh, did I say how old he is? 80. This is the videos where we just kind of feel old. <laughs> uh, next up, the Heart of the Heartbreakers, if you ask me. This is Mike Campbell. Mike Campbell has been was Tom Petty's guitarist from the very beginning. He was the writer, producer, kind of the main instrument guy, just a master of everything. Mike Campbell does not get enough credit for any of the Tom Petty music. Uh, Tom is great and everything, but man, Mike Campbell is the genius uh, in, in this band. Absolutely wonderful. This is Mojo. I believe this was Tom's last album. Uh, this is very, very underrated. I wish more people talked about this. This is a terrific record. Really, really cool stuff. And a beautiful release. It's on two vinyl. Two vinyl on reprise. Great inner photo in the gatefold there. Just a really, really good record. I highly recommend this. I, I for some reason, it's it's very underrated in Tom Petty's catalog. I, I definitely love this record. So happy birthday, Mike Campbell. He is seventy three. He's now doing something with Fleetwood Mac. I'm not sure why. Uh, next is a twofer. Dave Davies and um, and Mick Avery are. 76 and 78 respectively this is the kinks fantastic late 70s masterpiece sleepwalker this is my favorite kinks record i love 70s kinks this is the pinnacle of 70s kinks this is a pop masterpiece i love 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 this record this has jukebox music it has i mean this thing has life on the road uh sleepwalker jukebox music Sleepless Night, Full of Life, or uh, Life Goes On, which is a great song, Full Moon. This is a fantastic record, and definitely my favorite of the 70s Kinks records. This is Sleepwalker. Uh, next, uh, I, I told you how old they are, okay. Uh, this one, 
I just picked this up and I'm still not sure why. <laughs> this is Carol King. She is 80. And obviously one of the great record singer-songwriter records of all time. Uh, I threw this on um, when I got it. My partner did not like it. <laughs> Absolutely hated it. Uh, I don't think he's ever actually sat down and heard the whole record. He did not know that all these songs were hers. Uh, he had no idea who Carole King even was. Um, he did not like it. This sounds great. I don't know. I probably didn't need to buy this Mofi's one step, but um, it's nice to have in the collection, and it's Carole King, and it does sound nice. It sounds really nice. Um, Carole King, 80 years old. Happy birthday. Uh, next up, uh, one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. In fact, I pulled out two records to show for this guy. Peter Hook, one of the great bassists of all time. Fight me. He is unbelievable. Uh, he is 66. So maybe we're getting younger here on the list. Yeah. This is uh, Power, Lies, and Const Construct, uh, Corruption by New Order. This is my favorite New Order record. This has Age of Consent on it, which is their best song. I absolutely love this record. Wonderful, wonderful record. Great artwork. Um, I also pulled this out because this is really one of my... I love this. This is an EP. This is called um, Everything's Gone Green. Uh, oh, no, it has Everything's Gone Green, Procession, Mesh, Temptation, Hurt. Um, it's it's an EP from 81 to 82, and it's really, really good. And I, I've i never really, I don't see it out in the wild very much. Uh, every once in a while it pops up on like a black variant. I have this pretty cool Robin Zegg light blue, I guess. I don't know what it is. Um, wonderful, wonderful EP. I highly recommend this too. This is a really good I love the song, Everything's Gone Green. It's one of my favorite New Order songs. So I pulled out these two. Fantastic New Order records. Peter Hook, 66 years old. Uh, next up, oh, The Great. I feel like I've been talking about this guy's records. I've been mentioning a lot of his records. It seems like I have in the last couple of videos. Um, Peter Gabriel is 72. Uh, this is his uh, second solo record. I feel like I've been talking about Security, which is my favorite my favorite Peter Gabriel record. I think it's his masterpiece. It's one of my top favorite albums of all time. I've been talking about that a lot lately. And then I mentioned Mel uh, the Melting Face record a couple days ago, uh, maybe last week. Uh, a couple of weeks ago now, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Time's really melting into one. But... Um, yeah, this is a, a terrific solo record by Peter Gabriel. This is his second solo record. I think some people call it Scratch. Um, great artwork. Um, I think this is really underrated. People don't talk about this. The first one and Melt obviously get all the publicity of his first four. This is a terrific record. This, I mean, this has... Uh, this is an old record, too. I this is I've had this. I bet I've had this since it came out. This is old... Uh, on the Air, great song, DIY, Mother of Violence, Wonderful Day in a One-Way one World, White Shadow, Indigo, uh, Perspective, a great rockin' song, probably one of his most rockin' solo songs. Great, great record. Peter Gabriel, second album, second solo record. Um, he is 72 in February. Okay, next up. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, okay. Dennis D. Young is 75. Uh, this is Styx. This is Crystal Ball. I like Styx when they were more of a prog band, and this is kind of like the last of their prog records. Um, this is where they're kind of stretching out into more poppy songs. This has the great song Crystal Ball on it. Uh, it also has Put On Me, Mademoiselle is a great song. Uh, this is, I think this is even, this is before um, Tommy Shaw would join the band too. Um, this is a terrific, terrific record. Crystal Ball by Styx. Tommy, or uh, Dennis D. Young, 70, how old is he? 75. <laughs> I always thought he was older. <laughs> um, next up. 
Wow. No, that's not bad. Okay. <laughs> Ian Brown. He is the lead singer. It was the lead singer of the... Um, of the he was the lead singer of... Uh, <laughs> who the fuck was he the lead singer of? Oh, my God. Uh, I'd have to do this video over. <laughs> this is Ian Brown. <laughs> This is his solo album, The Greatest. It's not a great album. It's freaking garbage, actually. <laughs> How old is he? He's old. Cindy, Cindy Wilson of the B-52s. She's also old. Um, let's see. Oh, dear God. This is why I don't edit. Cindy Wilson is 65. Uh, my favorite B-52s record. Um, Rock Lobster. Great. I mean, unbelievable uh, record. Planet, Planet Claire is on here. <laughs> this is the MoFi edition. This is a silver MoFi, and it's actually, the silver MoFis are not always from the original tapes or they're from a, a digital source. Um, this is actually one of the better sounding MoFis. I think it's absolutely terrific. Um, really, really good sounding MoFi, and you can get, pick this up for $28 maybe 30 at the most. So uh, yeah, check out these er, these two. I think they have the first two out on Silver Label. So definitely pick those up. And next, last one. I bet you'd never thought I'd, you'd, I'd show a Journey record. <laughs> it's uh, Neil Sean's birthday. He is, he is 68 years old. Wow. Uh, this is Infinity. I bought this probably the right, uh, right after it came out, probably. Um, Great record if you like Journey. <laughs> I'm not the biggest Journey fan, but this is one of their big ones. It's got lights. What else does it have in it? Ugh. Stone Roses. Stone Roses. Jesus. That's who Ian Brown is the lead singer of. <laughs> should I just start over? I, I should probably just start over. Yeah, I'm showing a Journey record. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> We're done. Neil Sean, happy birthday. See you in March.